Manfred Raufer, I'm delighted we can talk again. So, how do you recall your war? My war. Things we saw. Things we did. I'm sure I'll never have a worse nightmare in my life. But your story is exceptional from what you've told me before. As I mentioned before, it's not only my story. It's about all of us. Ah, yes. Your companions. Yeah. What is exceptional about this story are these people and the actions we took together. From today's perspective, I see all this as deeds of madmen. You would say we put our lives at stake a hundred times, but the truth is, we were all dead inside. This war took everything from these people and from me. Even our nationalities became questionable. Whose side were we even on? I'd say on the human side. We were like a pack of mongrels in this damn war. Hello. Hi guys, have a nice evening. Nice. I'm Martin. <laughs> okay, I'm I'll start. Start. I'm Martin. I'm the publishing manager here at Destructive Creations. And above me here is my beloved colleague Martin. And uh, we want to talk a bit more about War Mongrels uh, today. Uh, we revealed the game just last week. And uh, we got we, we just felt like we need to share a bit more info about it. Uh, some of you guys were asking, and uh, we, I think we got a lot to say. Uh, but of course, we'll be revealing that bit by bit. So I want to welcome all of you as well, as well as my beloved colleague down there, Martin. And let's start about the Warmongers. I believe that the first thing that we should mention is uh, story because the game is built around the story and the story means a lot for this game you know the stories of the soldiers and the game is also inspired on those stories and there's a history written by that you can read in the books and basically what we wanted to show is that the war is really ugly and all false ideology can bring all the human being into the situations while they have they have to choose which side they are on. And it's not so obvious all the time. And while you are a very young person, while you are really a young man, woman, you are not thinking about fighting. You are not thinking about like dragging, bringing the gun and fighting with some other nation or whatever. But you are thinking about having fun and growing up. Those people had to grow up quite, grow up quite fast. That's true. Yeah. Also, I think that, that at those years, uh, it's much easier to influence people. Of course, each of us has some background. Each of us is growing up in something, in some uh, some way of thinking yeah. as well. And uh, sometimes uh we we later on we realized that uh you know we were just living in in a tunnel i would say and that the world uh, is about much more than we just saw and that's being presented to us and given to us so so that's basically what our characters are are going through in this game uh you know they're pursuing their own goal at the beginning and uh then they they realize what the the, the whole war machinery is about uh what the um, I would say false ideology uh, was about that that basically they were fighting for, although they thought they were fighting for a good cause. Uh, but we're not trying to show you know good or bad sides. Uh, the only bad side we're trying to show here in this game is is the side of war, which is always ugly. Uh, war is always hell. War is always evil. What is war is always bad. I can't think yeah. of any yeah. worse words to describe it. Basically, for everyone. So, 
Not only for, yeah. I just want to add that not only for the soldiers and for the people who are involved to fight in this war, but also for the civilians. And it doesn't matter if those civilians were Polish, Germans, or Russians, or anybody else. Like, the war is hell, and that's, that's, that's exactly true. Yeah. Uh, so I think you now touched the subject quite nicely on uh, where we're actually, uh, where, the, where the story is actually going to be happening. Uh, so, so unlike uh, a lot of, or most, I can say, I think, uh, games from World War II, uh, we're not talking about D-Day or, you know, France, Germany, uh, North America or the Pacific, but we're talking about the Eastern Front. Uh, the, the, basically, we're following two characters, two German soldiers or ex-German soldiers as, as they chose to desert the, the army. And uh, their way from the Eastern Front as they're trying to flee it uh, to get home. Uh, and uh, on, the, on their way, they uh, realize the, or, or find out about the, the horrors of, of the war itself. And that is what basically changes their path and changes their goals. Uh, they no longer pursue their own personal agenda and uh, they, they fight or uh, their their goal is basically to uh, get rid of those atrocities or somehow east, uh, lessen them uh, for the current time and for the future as well. And I think I just realized a couple of days ago that it's just by pure coincidence. Uh, it's just 75 years uh, since the Second World War has ended officially uh, in the Pacific. So uh, just by coincidence, we're, we're uh, actually announcing the, a game from World War II uh, on the 75th uh, anniversary of, of, its, of its end. Yeah, that's, that's, that's true. But also, it's not like this, the story is very important, but it, this is not the only thing how we want to show it. Because as we all know, it's always good to play this kind of a games together to experience their hesitations of the characters, uh, the actions of the characters, and to achieve the same goals together with someone that you really like. And what we thought was to bring to the table basically a call. Why not? Because why not? Uh, to be perfectly because, honest, because we can, <laughs> and because we can, of course. But the point is that while we were thinking about that, we thought also that hey, it would be cool to play it together because we never experienced this kind of a uh, feature in any other real-time tactics game. And yes, in uh, in War Mongers, sorry, Ancestors Legacy is our previous game, which is quite nice as well, uh, but. In Warmonglers, you can play together. So basically, you'll be choosing characters from the group, and each of the players will control some group of the characters. And I believe that also reflects what we want to show, that basically, if some hard characters applies to you more than the others, it will be, it will be good for you that you can basically choose them. That's it. And you're basically going through the game, through the storyline itself, as uh, the, the main characters would. As Manfred and Ewald uh, are there together, they're in the war, they have to go through this, through a path that they have not really chosen in the first place, but you know they just they just have to go through this. So I think it adds on uh, it adds on extra replay value because you can play it on your own, then you can play it with a friend or vice versa. It gives you more tactical options, and uh, it basically, uh, if you play with someone, it basically puts you more in the in the skin of the characters. So, uh, a lot of a lot of advantages to to having this option, I would say. And look at those screens. What do you think about it? Because I believe that those screens looks really cool. And what we want to achieve uh, is the best looking real-time tactics game so far. And I believe that we are very getting quite, quite close. Yeah, I, I think we already did quite a good job with Ancestors Legacy, which now would be kind of our benchmark for this. So that's the base level uh, at what where we're getting. 
Uh, I think uh, what also needs to be mentioned that um, relates to the storyline as well. But uh, on uh, we're we're working with with uh, historians on on this game. We're trying to be as historically accurate as possible. So not only the stories are based on on real ones, but of course all the assets that you see in the game: uh, weapons, vehicles, tanks, uniforms. Uh, I don't know ranks or or types of operations of the of the armies. Everything is supposed to be uh, as historically accurate as possible. So uh, that's also part of the visuals because you're going to see things that you would actually see there in 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 real life if you were there uh, at World War Two. So uh, and and the 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 environment interactions uh, are are I think um, an addition to that as well. So uh, the environment will, of course, give you many ways of, of uh, tactical options and many, many uh, possibilities to discover it as well. Martin, you are perfectly right. I understand that you learned a lot about the War Wonders so far. Oh, I'm so much looking forward to the final <laughs> game. Yeah. So guys and girls, I, what I, just to summarize that, you know, the story that you can read in the books and the story that was told you by your grandfather or anybody else like yours like mine for example might be a bit different and that's what we also want to show that it all depends who was looking at it and in in his own way so i just want to encourage you to check more about warmongers because as you know destructive creations always give you more and more details but all but also we are giving you always at some point we'll give you a chance to try the game because we believe that it's that's the best way that we can basically communicate with you with our own uh with our own creation that's it so if you like what you're seeing so far or what you've seen so far uh wishlist the game it's on steam already follow our socials and of course we'll be bringing more and more okay. <laughs> uh hang on which side is it uh there right. <laughs> up there <laughs> so uh we'll be bringing more info uh more screenshots videos from the game and if uh you're really eager to see something new uh then uh watch the stream from realms deep on saturday uh, which is where we're going to present actual footage from the game. So that's that's going to be for the first time we're going to we're going to show something uh, something real to everyone. So check it out and give us a feedback. Yeah, that's true. So, have a nice nice Friday and a whole weekend. Yeah. Thank you. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.